Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about Vesper Theory and the trigonal planar geometry. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, or Vesper Theory, is a model that predicts the geometry of molecules based on the number of valence shell electrons of a central atom. These electron pairs and bonds or lone pairs repel one another, so the Vesper model assumes that they will arrange themselves as far apart from each other as possible. Seen here in hydrogen cyanide, the valence electrons in the single and triple bonds on the central carbon atom arrange themselves on opposite sides of the carbon to be as far from each other as possible. In this way, electrostatic repulsions are minimized for the most stable structure with the lowest energy. Let's learn about Vesper theory and molecules with three domains of high electron density about the central atom. Let's start with boron trifluoride. This molecule consists of a central boron atom with three fluorine atoms. In order to minimize electrostatic repulsions, boron trifluoride arranges into a trigonal planar geometry. Note the prefix tri for three. There are three domains of electron density from the one, two, three single bonds. Planar indicates that these atoms and domains are all in a single flat plane. What are the bond angles in a trigonal planar molecule? To measure an angle in ChemDoodle 3D, select Measure Angle in the Measurements palette, then select the three atoms and or electrons that make up the angle of interest. Be sure the second selection is the vertex. The bond angle here is 120 degrees. In a trigonal planar geometry, the valence electrons are equidistant from each other, so all bond angles are 120 degrees. What if one of the bonds is a lone pair? Let's examine sulfur dioxide. Sulfur, the central atom, is bonded to two oxygen atoms and has one lone pair for a total of one, two, three domains of high electron density. Therefore, sulfur dioxide has a trigonal planar electron domain geometry with angles similar to 120 degrees. However, due to the unshared electron pair, Vesper theory predicts a bent molecular geometry for sulfur dioxide. This lone pair also influences the bond angle in a bent molecule. It occupies a larger space about the central sulfur atom and has stronger repulsion. Therefore, the angle between the lone pair and an oxygen atom is greater than 120 degrees. In turn, the bond angle between the two oxygen atoms is less than 120 degrees. What if there are two lone pairs? Let's look at the oxygen molecule. Consider this oxygen atom as a central atom. It has another oxygen atom attached to it and two lone electron pairs. There are one, two, three domains of high electron density about the central oxygen atom. So this molecule has a trigonal planar electron domain geometry. However, with only one other atom bonded to the central atom, Vesper theory predicts the oxygen molecule will adopt a linear molecular geometry. Vesper theory is a model used to predict the geometry of molecules based upon the number of valence shell electrons and the repulsion between these domains of high electron density. When there are three regions of high electron density, Vesper theory predicts that molecules can adopt one of the following structures, trigonal planar, bent, and linear. Thanks for watching ChemDoodle Shorts.